Hi everyone, it is December 17, 2018. Floods and fires, floods and fires. I'll get to the fires in a moment. I'm on floods. So I received a comment from a subscriber who is concerned about this warning. Flood watch. She lives in or right outside of Eugene, Oregon and said that her, where she lives, the area that she lives in Oregon, I think the last time they got a flood warning was back in 1995. And today they now have a flood watch going on for areas um, North Oregon coast, Central Oregon coast, coast range of Northwest Oregon, Central Coast range of West Oregon, Lower Columbia, Greater Portland metro area, Central uh, William Et Valley, Northern Oregon Cascade Foothills, Upper Hood River Valley, Willapa Hills, South Washington Coast, uh, along the Five Corridor in Cowlitz County, Greater Vancouver area, South Washington Cascade, Cascade Foothills, Western Columbia River Gorge, Central Columbia River Gorge. Yes, flood watches. And that comes from your National Weather Service in Portland. For the last couple of days, I have been looking at IntelliCast as well as that next red reflectivity map which yes I have open right here and I've been noticing what has been going on off the coast of Washington and Oregon and I thought wow they're trying to develop something here there was a lot of extremely low frequencies and I did capture them. I mean, I have them, but I, I'm, I, I'm, I just can't put things together anymore. But um, you can see the extremely low frequencies that seem to be, yeah, coming from Oregon. But this blob of precipitation, which we can't even say is actual precipitation, is it raining? We don't know anymore because now we look at, let, look at these satellites, it looks like it's raining, but it's not. And then when it looks like it's raining, it is. All right, I want, I, I, <laughs> I actually did a video today and I never posted it, but Look at the extremely low frequencies right now. It's uh, those extremely low frequencies are coming out of um, right here, which, yeah, you could get on Google Earth and look to see where extremely low frequency transmitters are or Gwen Towers. Um, can't get in close enough with IntelliCast to actually see it, but it is very close to um, is that, I don't know, scatopose? My eyesight's really getting very bad. Now, the point is that when you have not had a flood warning in your area for, well, what is that, uh, 23 years? and you do suddenly get that warning and you see 
these frequencies at work, you better be very concerned. Now, this entire thing is fried with frequencies, the extremely low frequencies, which you can see all of the very defined lighter green lines fanning out. That's the signature of extremely low frequencies, but you can also see the microwaves. Now, they've been using powerful microwaves of late, which I uh, had not seen a little while ago and then the years before. Um, this entire thing is really remarkably manufactured, but it has blown up considerably in just a few hours because this is what it looked like earlier today. You know, we need to wear a yellow vest. Well, this oh. comment, really, question mark, do you not believe we are in the middle of a current civil war right now? Do you not see all the indictments? That I'm sorry. Shoot, I thought I had it on the right mark. That subscriber wrote. Okay. Now. When I have been looking at IntelliCast. Where is it? The next ride. Where is this huge storm? Look at. We've got this electromagnetic beam being shot out from Nevada into Oregon. And you don't see anything. You only saw this, which is the high frequency. High frequencies being set off. And look, you had the manufactured storm here with this, these extremely low frequencies and uh, close to Boise. But where is that magnificent storm? All right, now, what time did I, what time did I do this? Um, I completed this video at 2.30 p.m. today. It's now 6.59 p.m. on the East Coast. And so in just a few hours, this is what it looks like. Okay. People are getting nervous. And appropriately so. When we have seen millions of Americans being destroyed by flood, you see the manufacturing of this storm. You get a warning flood watch for your area. Um, you need to be very concerned. So I will link below to everything. Uh, the rivers of particular concern include the Grays, Grays River, the Wilson River, the um, Siletz River, the Tolleton, Tolleton River, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing those correctly, the Clackamas, Clacka Mass River, oh god, the Johnson Creek, Paradise Lost, number 38, another victim's Dante Inferno's experience. Just listen to a few minutes of this. Into my wife's house and the board. Oh, I'm sorry. He is, right before this, he talks of escaping the fire. And he just said that he went to his wife's house in Oroville. And then, well, they got evacuated once more. It's kind of like Jane Tandy. 
Ventura County fires. She gets evacuated from her home, then at 3 a.m. gets evacuated from the hotel where she went because she was evacuated. People are getting evacuated repeatedly now. And then we got a door to door warning from there saying that we should evacuate. Uh, so we said just get out of Dodge. Uh, essentially, we discussed far as we could so that, um, so that we didn't have to go to sleep and wondering if there's flames outside of our door. Um, so that's why here. Nope. Going to sleep and wondering if, if there's flames outside our door. So we got far enough away so we didn't have to worry. Wow. Life has changed for an awful lot of Americans. 86-year-old woman killed in Cottonwood Fire, officials searching for possible arsonists. So this 86-year-old woman who lived in Cottonwood lived alone. Well, apparently they are saying that there's a serial arsonist targeting elderly residents. I have to agree with globalists using pyroterrorism to scare elderly off their land in California. The psychopaths love to scare people and love suffering. When you think about all of the elderly who are living alone in California, in these areas, and suddenly you have an area that was not hit with one of the fires that we are so now, well, the new normal fires, they're living in areas where they have serial arsonists who are burning down people's homes, killing people. There was a very worried disabled, disabled lady from Cottonwood, California, who emailed several times about her plight of wondering if her home will be burned down at night when she's sleeping. She lives in Cottonwood. Well, we're not gonna be able to get any of this stopped. And yes, more and more of you will be facing the consequence of this evil. You will be flooded out, burned out. Whatever the circumstance is, more and more and more of you will be facing consequences that suddenly your life takes a dramatic turn for the worse. Paradise Lost. Now, I just want to say thank you, a plain truth info for doing all of the work that you have been doing. For those of you who have your, well, their opinions, but you write them as fact, not just about a plain truth dot info, but about a lot of people. Never uh, are do they back up their claims with evidence, calling people disinformation agents or whatever. Um, then there are the people who claim that if you have over a hundred thousand subscribers, then you're working for the globalists. I, the idiocy of presumptions, most people not aware that they make them, they just spew them out and it, it hurts us all. Now there, I had, and I will speak honestly, um, I posted a video because what I was hearing from my subscriber in Chico uh, was different from what A Plain Truth was posting about the 50,000 dead. Okay, people make mistakes and 
we have to understand that there's nobody who is infallible and perfect. And when you post videos, especially when you go to another area, you're not at home, you're hearing from others in this area, you want to get the information out, you believe the person's credible, uh, they may have made a mistake, then you pass that mistake along and yada yada yada, but it's like, it, what what I see here in social media, it's it has brought me down. It really has brought me down. And I find that the human race is just so sad. Jamie, 208,000 subscribers. I can't think of any other big channel that goes out of their way to help people. Oh, there's those Christians who have uh, huge subscribers. But they never talk about helping others. When I see people, regardless of the number of subscribers, but when I see people who are actually taking action to help people, uh, I don't want to hear from all of you who are not doing anything. So I want to play just a few minutes of this video. And I do want to say it's the holidays. Could you please consider not buying gifts or buy one less for your friends, your family or whatever, or maybe get your family and friends together and agree to just forego getting these gifts that you don't need. Forgo it this year and agree to help people out. We have so many Americans, millions and millions and millions now, suffering as I speak, having lost everything. Paradise, California, in 24 hours. Tens of thousands of People lost everything. It's not going to be a happy Christmas for them. It's not going to be a happy holiday for them. Perhaps even consider telling the people that will, you know, are going to be buying you a gift. Tell them to instead of buying you something that you don't need, ask them if they would donate to people who are in need in your name. So one of the reasons why I'm posting this is because I had subscribers who asked me if there was a place that they could send non-monetary donations. And there is, right here. Opportunity. So I'm Valerie. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. And you're from Hi. Karen's been you over here? Who? Karen? Yeah, Morocco. Is that her name? I'm sorry, I think that might be a little bit too loud, so let me turn it down a bit. Well, that's what we're setting up today. Our first day that we're going to open. Oh, really? Yeah, so we'll be getting things set up if you want to come in. Yeah, is this your house? Uh, well, it's uh, the CSA's house. Oh, okay. um, our house is over there that burns up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's our house and our shop over there. Oh, but it just belongs to John's family. It's just in this stuff. And uh, we lived in the guest house. Oh, wow. So we, uh, we're here now, but okay. no hot water yet, no heat yet, but oh. we're making it. <laughs> Doing the oh. best we can. Did you yeah. lose everything, ma'am? Yes, we lost everything. John and I lost everything. I'm so there sorry. Um, you know, we have uh, some stuff that we have stored in the barn up there, which didn't burn, but nothing compared to what we lost. <laughs> um, but, uh, we're doing okay. If you come on in and take a look around, we're just getting things ready for people that... Oh, you're setting up for helping people. Yeah, yeah they're gonna, they're, the, the community has been notified that uh, we received a trucker donation from Southern California, and then we um, were called over to Medallia to a church to pick up a, a truck of... Our truck was full okay. to um, 
get ready for uh, donation. It's to the um, Can I walk on here? Can I walk on here? No, please do. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm just going to sit there. Yeah. Okay. And, oh, man, what a, what, a, what a person. Yeah. And everybody just doesn't realize how blessed they are to see it taking this challenge on. Boy, oh, boy, I'll tell you, it is a challenge. Yeah. You know? So, so but, it, so they connected some people who are, and they, they're, you're saying that you got a couple of donations right. because of the connection. Through through the Paradise Adopted Family, Eric had asked for somebody, um, a contact in Concal. Yes. And everybody on the site was kind of like passing the buck, you know, oh, so and so should do it, oh, so and so should, should do it. Yes. It just needed to be done. So yeah. we had the faith and we decided that, you know, we talked it over, we said that we would. We would stick our necks out and do it. Thank you so and much. It's, it's not a problem. Can we give you some clothes we brought too? That would be wonderful. And we have the clothes. We're just starting to bring everything down because we were going to do it out on our back porch. It sounds family really kind of funny about people coming in the house, but um, we were going to do it on the back porch. But since it's raining, we figured we'd set it up in here and we put tarps down on the wood floor. Okay. Um, John's dad built this house, so it's kind of. Wow. Um, it's beautiful. Yeah, we had sold it. Somebody had bought it. Let, let me go to the car and bring some clothes in. <laughs> Don't say anything about us because it hurts. You know, they've heard it from somebody or somebody told them or whatever, and it just it hurts because they've never taken the time to come and knock on our door and find out who we really are and what we stand for. That's why we're here. Right. And and, and John's mom and dad were John's dad was the grand master for how many years, John? Well, well, he was the state master for a couple of years, and then he was the Grange over here on uh, Big Ben. Mm -hmm. And his parents, his dad helped with the historical society, his dad was on the school board. His parents were very involved in the community, and we tried to keep it, you know, keep the same thing going, because that's the kind of people we were raised to be, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And you get taken advantage of slowly. Yeah. Keep trying. Yeah. Because <laughs> we do the same thing. We do closed donations yeah. and whatnot. We'll bring you whatever you need, but... From my farm that I grow my own meat, here's some pork chops, the best pork chops oh, wow, in the world for you guys. What's well, the name of your farm? Um, uh, Anderson Valley. I'm at uh, Nashville Ranch in, in Anderson Valley in okay. Mendocino. So I raise, <clears throat> raise the animals. And so that's for you. Thank here's you. some clothes. This is donated clothes that we okay. had that were right, for you in these bags. And we have a lot more of that because people have all, everybody has excess clothes. Right. But we can't distribute it in, in Santa Rosa, where I'm from. We got torched out a year ago. Oh, yeah. So we're coming oh, wow. to see the same thing happening here. So we're setting up distribution networks. We're getting money coming in. I'd like to give you some cash. Can you use some cash? Oh, sure. Okay, <laughs> let, let, me get, <laughs> let me get some cash for you, too. I'll be right back. Okay. We, but it's going to be open now. We already we committed to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from noon until 4. And today today will be the only Saturday. Oh, yeah. Um, Do it today. Okay. Yeah, today is only Saturday. No. Yeah, okay, right. So volunteers Monday, Wednesday, Friday, twelve to four. What's the um, address? It's one two zero zero four Concow C O N C O W Road. Mm -hmm. And that's in uh, uh, zip code is an Oroville zip code, but because we're in rural Oroville, uh, but everybody considers it Concow. Okay. So, so what will they? Sorry, use I can't get over that. Now. It's not really no, over yet. <laughs> so what will they use to get here? If people put in GPS to look at a map, what they, they, would, they would just put in nine five nine six five. Okay, nine five nine six five. Yeah, they have a list of GPS. Yeah, they yeah, they they list, list, it's listed as Deadwood, California, or Yankee Hill, California. But if you put in the zip code, it comes up four bills. Interesting. Okay, the reason why I played that out was because I wanted you to hear what I think a lot of people will make presumptions about. You hear a tidbit like Grange Master, State Master, um, and even, even those vegans who will attack when they see Jamie handing over pork chops, the 333. Okay, there are an awful lot of people. Now, I'm making a presumption. I could be wrong. But I think the master stuff is related to the Freemasons. And there are an awful lot of people who join that organization because they think it's good or, or and or they are 
wanting to network for business opportunities. It's the top tier Masons who are evil. There is a lot of people who are actually doing a lot to try to help other people, but because they're associated with the Freemasons, they get thrown into the evil group. Not everyone associated with the Masons are evil. So here's a woman who has, because she had the building, she has uh, created a donation center. The address, which is 12004 Concow Road, I think you should write Concow, California, 95965, which will come up Oroville, but it will get there. I, unfortunately, uh, don't know the name of this woman because I was given a donation yesterday. I was able to do donate a portion of that to two, vic two victims of Paradise Fires at gmail.com. Please help. Please help. And please before you leave comments, you know, type it out before you hit send or whatever it is uh, that you have to hit to have it post. Read it. Ask yourself, is this comment going to lift people up or is it going to bring people down? Your answer will come immediately. If you don't have evidence of somebody being this disinformation agent, excuse my way of phrasing this, shut up, because you influence other people in a direction that doesn't work for us, that is really bad for us. It just destroys truth further and further. Uh, trust, I'm sorry. And we need trust. We absolutely need trust. And we have to change. We have to change. Every individual has to change. We're not going to be able to stop these. Uh, stop the weather being used as a weapon and fires that are destroying and killing, murdering people. So what we can do is reach out and try to help those who are destroyed. This blew up and I hope, I hope to God that my subscriber who wrote, who gave me a heads up on this flood morning, remains safe and okay, and nothing happens. But as you can see, this is manufactured by man. And we know the fires were deliberate. And we know an awful lot of people need help. So, for the Christians, why don't you really uh, manifest Christ this holiday season? Manifest Christ. What would Christ do? Would he be running out shopping at all of these stores, giving material gifts? Or would he be trying to help other people in need? That answer, well, it's not hard to figure out what Christ would do. All links are below.